Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the previous videos, we've looked at adjustments that you can make over here, which change the whole picture. Now we're going to look at some ways where you can change a part of the picture, which can be very, very useful, of course. And the principle you use a lot of the time in that is brushing. And if you look over here in this toolbar here, you can see there are a number of brushes. So one up here, there's one down here, here, see a number of them here. We're going to just show you the principle of brushing with the paintbrush tool, which is here just underneath the colored circle. See that little triangle there, by the way? That means if you right click on this, there are more tools underneath here. And there's another brush. But let's stick to the paintbrush. We're going to go to blank page here to play with it. So I click on this one here and I'm going to look at three things. One is the width, the next is the opacity and the other one is the hardness. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that appears up here which are related to the, to the brush but we only need those three and in fact you seldom use the others. So what we're going to do, the colour by the way of this brush is over here. So the, this is the one which is like on top. I can click that, it switches, but the one on top there, it's black. I can change the colour by sliding these up and down or just clicking on these here. But let's just start off with the black colour. By the way, if you can't see this, see that little three thing there, you click on that and make sure that sliders is clicked. Right, so if I just draw a bit here with this brush, you can see it's got a very, very hard edge. That's set by the hardness. The size is set by the width. So if I want to increase the size of the width, in fact, any change any of these, that little down arrow, I can click on that, and I've got a slider I can use. Dif difficult to see what size the brush is really going to be. I can type in here as well. I can just type in there and type 100. But the easiest way for to, to change the width of the brush is I come down here and I use the right square bracket to make it bigger and the left square bracket to make it smaller. Okay, that is width. Hardness up here is your best way to, to, to explain it, is to show it. So I've gone around about halfway. Now if I paint it, you can see the difference on the edges there, can't you? That sort of fade is, is extremely useful because when you're painting on the picture, if you use a hard edge, people can see where you've painted. If you use a soft edge, it very often can't. The softer, the better. So you can even go all the way down. And if I click here, it looks like it's got a bit smaller because that there's so much is soft there. But I can use the right square bracket to make it bigger again. The last one, I'm going to actually turn the hardness all the way up again to show this opacity here. Because I can actually, if I bring this down, you can see it changes here. As I paint on that, see that's it's less. But if I paint again, then it's painting over the top of it. And where they overlap, it gets darker and darker. And so I can add things up. I can build it up with each brush stroke. So in the end, it will be black here. But whilst I've got the thing held down, it's not going to change. It only puts one layer at a time. And I let go, oh, and then I paint again. As you can see, it also it very helpfully shows you what it's going to do before you actually do it. Right, let's go back to the original picture and do a little bit of painting here. I'm going to take the hardness of this brush uh, pretty low. I'm going to make the opacity very low. And a trick here, by the way, if I want the opacity to be 10%, I type 1 on the keyboard, 2 for 20%, and so on. In fact, I'm going to roll the mace wheel down here and get it very low even 5%. And the width, I need to use the right square bracket to make it a bit bigger so I can see where it is. Then I'm going to pick paint over here. I'm going to pick a colour which is similar to that, so I'm going to use yellow. And if I paint over here, you can see this is, I'm actually changing the colour of this here. I can paint over that again and it's adding to it. And because it's a, it's a soft brush here, it's very difficult to see the edge of where I painted. I could do as well. I could say, let's get a bit of green up here. And 
turn that size of the brush down with a left square bracket, I can make the fields there a bit greener. And even when it's overlapped a bit, because it's soft, we can't see where that's gone. And how about getting a bit of blue? I make that a bit bigger. I can make the sky blue. Just a bit bigger like that. Maybe I can use the same. I can paint a bit more on these here. And even add a little bit into this. If I want to make this a little bit lighter, I can click on the white one there. And I'm just going to paint down here. Make that reflection stand out a little bit more. So you can see, just by doing that, there are better ways to do this, but you can see how that works. Anyway, that's it. That's the basics of brushing. And we're going to use a lot of that in the future. So thank you very much for watching.